How's it going fellow traders? It's Magic Trader here and this is the CFTC report for October 29th, 2019. Here is the data that was submitted as of that date by the institutions. And so let's start by taking a look at gold. All right, so what do we see here? We see that since September 24th, when the institutions were heavily long, we have since hit some supply on the charts. Now, if you take a look, you'll see what they've been doing here. They closed off a large portion of longs, bringing them down to 322. Then they added to their longs to 334. Then they took them off. Then they added. And now we're seeing them add for two weeks in a row. Now, when I look through the historical data and map it alongside our historical charts, I have seen patterns where they did exactly the same thing here before a big drop. Okay. Now, does that say that they're doing the exact same thing right now before a big drop? Not 100%. I mean, we can't say 100% that they're going to do something, but we have seen this pattern in the past. That I know 100%. And what I also know 100% is that when we've seen this pattern in the past, they were getting ready to drop price hard. So we have that on our side. Not only that, but we also have massive supply that is in play, which will dictate price to move to the downside. So unless something drastically happens that is out of the norm of what we typically see uh, in the markets, we are still expecting price to drop here. All right, and so if you take a look here, closing off shorts, this is all the same type of thing that we see uh, and that we've seen in the past. Now we take a look at oil. We see oil, they uh, increase a little bit of their longs, they decrease their shorts, and that came as price was rallying from low in the range. So we were expecting this upward momentum because we're low in the range. Price is stuck in a range until it is not. So until it breaks out of the range, it's going to stay here. And so um, we have this as the top of the range. We have this at the bottom of the range. I think there's a very good chance that we will see price eventually break up to the upside and break through here because we have looked at the charts and we have seen evidence to support the fact that um, there's a bigger move to the upside that is in play. It may take many months, it may take a year or two years for it to eventually uh, start making that move, but we do see that as a longer term um, move. Okay, now we go over to the US dollar. And what we can see is right here as price was rallying from demand, we have them closing off longs. In fact, since October, we've seen them steadily closing off their long positions. But at the same time, they are not accumulating a short. I want you to be focused on that because that's important information, all right? They've been constantly just focused on uh, closing off their uh, long positions. And that's interesting because it happens right as we hit supply. So you can see how this pattern repeats itself over and over again. Longs were very aggressive at 86% overall exposure. We're down to 83 during this whole process. And so now we have demand being hit on the charts and it's likely price is going to go up, but we can't say for sure because the market dynamics suggest that a bigger move is very possible. And when that possibility exists, we can't just assume that price is going to hold here and move up. We know the possibilities of, of, of what is going to take place. We know the um, predictability uh, of the, the, the scenario right now that's playing out, but we have kept our opinions to, uh, to our school and to our members only. So we will move on. Yeah, and you can see the detailed uh, information in the observation journals and the Forex Market Outlook video as well, where we detail what we think is going to take place. Uh, we take a look at the Aussie US dollar and we can see that longs are still cooled off. That, I mean, they've been cooled off for quite some time, right? Meanwhile, shorts have been the aggressor. 
You remember back in May we were extremely aggressive and I mentioned that we were going to start seeing profit taking. Well that's exactly what's been taking place down here. Profit taking and profit taking. So right now we see more profit taking since October from 99,000 down to 77,000. That's a big decrease. Okay. So that's a very comfortable number that 77,000. Now we are hitting a descending trend line on the weekly. We could see a move like this and then possibly a move up like that. So we're watching this one for, for signs of that. Now we have the US CAD. This one is uh, very interesting okay? because if we take a look at the data here we can see that back in September they were aggressive and then they became less so and now they're starting to really put the, 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 the gas pedal to the floor here. So you can see the momentum building, 58, 71, now 81,000 to the short side. Well, that was coming as this big drop took place. At the same time, we're not seeing them accumulate any long positions. Sentiment is bearish because of this. So there is the possibility that we continue seeing them build this momentum to the, to the downside. And if that does take place, this can easily happen on the charts. So we are watching for that potential and we'll be watching for uh, trade setups to take advantage of that move if it indeed does play out like that. So another dollar pair here, we can see the US Swiss franc, we see an increase in longs and that's from 24 to 26,000 and at the same time we're also seeing an increase in shorts from 13,000 to 14,000. So if you take a look here at the uh, sentiment here we can see that it is somewhat uh, neutral we were bullish less so somewhat bearish and now we're neutral when the sentiment is telling you neutral the vast majority of the times it's telling us not to make any trading decisions and you can see right now we're right in between supply and demand in a range. So do you want to go long or short right now? It's it's not a good idea. I mean you can go long here and maybe you'll get lucky when it comes up here and then you can go short here. Maybe you get lucky but eventually one of these areas are going to break and you're going to be caught on the wrong side. That's what happens to a lot of retail traders. So you don't want to get caught in that. You want to trade alongside the, the momentum of the move. Okay, And momentum is going to be limited in between two zones until one of those zones get taken out and then momentum comes in and when they get taken out they create new areas that we can uh, get ourselves uh, positioned. So uh, taking a look here once again we're neutral don't want to really take any uh, trades right now and uh, we're waiting to see more signs from the institutions as to uh, the potential moves that were you know we should expect. Okay, so the euro, we see the euro close off some longs from 168 to 166, and shorts are pretty much remaining the same. So, in essence, really nothing is happening. You take a look at the percentages here 43% long exposure, 57% short exposure. There's nothing really uh, moving here, and that came as price was dropping after the big rally. So, why is it dropping? probably a big part of that is retail traders okay they are buying long until the institution the institution stopped buying okay we see the increase from 154 to 168 they stop buying momentum shifts to the downside they start getting out of their positions okay so uh, now we see momentum back to the upside looking at the chart dynamics again it's like the dollar we see potential for a bigger move to the upside and the da data is not really showing us that. But we have broken this down uh, in the Forex Market Outlook videos. We have looked at all the other pairs and we've seen strong evidence to suggest um, a, a move to the upside in the euro is what is highly likely. Okay. Now we have the pound US dollar and what do we see? Price hits supply. We see a reaction to the downside. And as this was taking place, they're increasing longs from 35,000 to 43,000. So if you take a look at the bigger picture, longs used to be cooled off. Now they're starting to come out of that cooled off uh, phase into a more aggressive. But it's just one cell of aggressiveness. We'd like to see two, if not three cells of aggressiveness before we start to believe what it is that they're doing. Bottom line is they were very aggressive with shorts down here. They needed to take profits, which is 
what has been fueling this move to the upside. But take a look here. Sentiment, neutral. Hmm? And it is smart to be neutral at this point because we are expecting a move from this supply. So, you know, a move down to here would be ideal. And if they continue to be uh, aggressively piling into their long positions, then we can see something like that in the future. But we're very key things we're watching for uh, uh, to play out on these charts. We can't just buy down here blindly. We have to wait for certain things to play out on the charts. And once uh, they do, then this trade setup will be uh, validated. and Then we can take advantage of that momentum. Now we've got the US dollar Japanese yen. We take a look here. We see longs used to be very cooled off. They've come out of the cooled off um, territory. Shorts used to be aggressive. They've come out. So we're not seeing anything, um, you know, uh, in terms of direction here. But you take a look here. Neutral. They used to be bearish. And price moved. Now we're neutral. Okay. So again, hitting supply. Price could drop like this. But there's nothing ideal here to trade off of. So we're watching this one and waiting to, to uh, see if there's going to be uh, better potential for... Um, trades. <clears throat> the Kiwi dollar, this one's a good one. Uh, price came to the lows, very aggressive with shorts. We expected them to take profits on those shorts and that's exactly what they did. That fueled a move to the upside. They're still aggressive with the, their uh, short positions. Longs are cooled off, not even focused on, on longs. In fact, they're using their long positions to help stabilize price here at the lows so that they can close off those short positions. So this is exactly what we've been talking about for quite some time. There is a very strong potential for a bigger move to the upside like this, so we are indeed watching for that. All right, ladies and gents, there's your CFTC report for the data that was collected October 29th, 2019. If you have any questions, you can reach us at www.whiteoakfx.com. Have yourself a good week. Take care.